All right, so I'm talking to Andrew Oliver here from uh, Blitz Games, and we were talking about uh, uh, we're talking about the future of 3D TV. Yep, it's an uh, area I've looked at quite a lot uh, over the years, and I've seen different technologies coming on. All right, and so you had a prediction for the year 2015. Well, I'm very aware. I've been very close to 3D TVs, and I'm very aware that the major issue of 3D TVs is glasses. We've got two obvious glasses: active, passive. Um, and I'm I understand that people have an issue wearing glasses, but you've got to understand that technology is moving at an exponential rate at the moment. TV manufacturers have made an awful lot of money over everyone upgrading to flat screens, to HD TVs, 3D TV is the newest thing, and connected TVs. They're very, very aware that glasses are an issue for people, so they're all looking at, at how you can remove the glasses. And I've seen various attempts around the edges of ways that you could like get rid of glasses and still watch 3D content. So I'm absolutely confident that one of them will crack it in the next few years. So yeah, 2015, I feel fairly confident that one of the, the big companies will have a TV that will be able to show your 3D Blu-rays, your 3D video games without the need to wear glasses. This is multiple people in the room? Yeah, absolutely. Because I know that obviously the 3DS at the moment can give you a good 3D view for one viewer if you're exactly in front of it. There's new technologies that are just being done, so if it's a single viewer, it will give you without the, the zone issue, um, but that's a single viewer. And, and that technology is about to be sort of launched into phones and tablets. Um, give it a few years, and it'll be, it'll be multi-user. I'm pretty confident of it. All right. Thank you. Thank you.